guys, this is RC Enthusiast 101, and today I'm going to be doing a level 1 upgrade for the Forza, and it's going to be the aluminum uh, clutch shoes. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to install these, and this is part number 02048. So, yeah, let's get to installing them. We'll get this out of the way. Bring the fours over here. And in its current state is not running, but what you're gonna want to do, first step, is remove the four engine mounting screws. Next, you're gonna wanna, if you want to, remove your air filter, remove your fuel tubing that leads into the carburetor and just slide the exhaust coupling off of the exhaust manifold and it'll come right out and one more thing I forgot to mention is to take out your throttle linkage which mine just happened to come right out but you might have a little bit more of a tough time getting that out so move this over to the side and what you're going to want to do is take a, a 2.5 millimeter hex and if you have a piston locking tool you're going to want to remove the glow plug and turn in your or just screw the piston locking tool into the header and that will lock your piston in bottom dead center so you can and it will also lock the flywheel so you can unscrew this bolt now mine I guess wasn't that tight and I can just hand hold the flywheel but you may, yours may be different I would suggest putting Loctite on this little screw um, I didn't the last time that I took it out but I would recommend doing that so going to take that off. There's going to be a series of washers. You've got a little ring. Put that somewhere safe. You've got a little washer that goes right in the end bell that is protecting a bearing. So just remember that it's the end bell, the larger bearing, and then the smaller little circle washer. And then there's going to be a bearing on the other side of the end bell. Just be careful not to damage that. And then there's going to be a big E-clip. And what you're going to want to do is just take a flathead screwdriver. Just pop it off. Now, that was actually pretty lucky because usually it'll go flying random places but I was pretty lucky and taking this off is as simple as just pulling with a little bit of pressure it'll come off and these are your original clutch shoes mine are in pretty good condition they're not worn down but you're gonna wanna check your clutch shoes every once in a while just check for wear that may happen over time and once you've got those removed you can go ahead and set those aside and go ahead and Get into your aluminum ones. These look very nice. So, here are the aluminum ones and they give you a new spring in the package because your old one will wear out and you can actually see not sure if you can but the old one is slightly longer so this is gonna need to be replaced so the best way I found to do this is just to install the clutch shoes there's two little posts and the aluminum ones, ones have two holes in them, and you're just going to want to slide one of the holes on the post, like 
that. Just shut them. And instead of fiddling with like pliers and other things and trying to get this spring around like that and trying to connect them, I found that the best thing to do is just to clip them and put over one edge. It's best to put the little part that's together, that's connecting them, over the edge first. And with a little bit of time and patience and muscle, oh, almost, you'll be able to get this on. So, I'll be back with you in a minute once I get this on and we'll see what happens. So I got that on. That wasn't that hard. I got it on soon after I stopped the video, but now that you got that on, you can go ahead and reinstall the E clip, which do that with a set of pliers. Take the pliers on one side, tie the E clip. Simple as that. And then you're going to want to reinstall the bearing. Then the clutch. Then the spacer. The big washer. Then the small ring. And just going to put that screw in. And I would highly recommend putting some Loctite on this because that falls off while you're driving. That's not going to be a good thing. I can't seem to find mine right this second, wherever it is, but I will make sure to put it on and we will Loctite that. But I'm just going to hand torque it down on the flywheel, that's not coming off anytime soon. So. Put the engine back in the car, just do all the steps I told you in the beginning in reverse, and yeah, and you've got your aluminum clutch belt. Or aluminum clutch shoes. So thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe for more RC related videos and thanks for watching.